I would like to welcome you all to this short film for Holocaust Memorial Day. Sadly, due to COVID-19, we cannot have an event in person this year. The theme for Holocaust Memorial Day 2021 is Be the Light in the Darkness. It encourages everyone to reflect on the depths humanity can sink to, but also the ways individuals and communities resisted that darkness to be the light before, during and after genocide. Be the light in the darkness is an affirmation and a call to action for everyone marking Holocaust Memorial Day. This theme asks us to consider different kinds of darkness. For example, identity-based persecution, misinformation, denial of justice and different ways of being the light for example, resistance, acts of solidarity, rescue, and in illuminating mistruths. Increasing levels of denial, div division, and misinformation in today's world mean we must remain vigilant against hatred and identity-based hostility. Rapid technological developments, a turbulent political climate, and world events beyond our control can leave us feeling helpless and insignificant. The utterly unprecedented times through which we are living currently are showing the very best which we are we're capable, but also some of the abuse and conspiracy theories being spread on social media, the much darker side of our world as well. Gina Turkle, MBE, a survivor of the Holocaust who died in 2018 said, we will continue to do our bit for as long as we can, secure in the knowledge that others will continue to light a candle long after us. We all here must be that light and work to dispel the darkness in our town, our country and the world. For there is always light if we are brave enough to see it, for there is always light if we are brave enough to be it. Those were the words of the young poet Amanda Gorman at the presidential inauguration on the 20th of January 2021. In darkness, even a small light stands out, although it needs to be nurtured to continue shining without faltering. One light alone is vulnerable, but many lights together are too strong to be extinguished. Together, they can expel darkness completely. Light is not something we can easily keep to ourselves. And when we share it, others benefit. In the lead up to genocide, distortions are deployed using propaganda and stereotyping to identify and victimise a specific group or groups. These are followed by discrimination, often enshrined into law. The Nazis encourage people to fear Jewish people by stereotyping them as greedy, evil and a threat to Germany. Anti-Jewish propaganda was spread in every medium, posters, films, books, radio broadcasts, newspapers, school materials and more, all played a part in putting across this dark message. The Nazis also used propaganda to demonise other groups. Disabled people were cruelly portrayed as burdens on society, with school textbooks containing mass problems, asking children to calculate how much the state would save if it no longer had to care for the mentally ill. Homosexual men were portrayed as degenerates who would have a weakening effect on German society. In Rwanda, propaganda broadcast on radio stations and printed in newspapers sought to dehumanise the Tutsi minority. It called the Tutsi people cockroaches and snakes, encouraging Hutus to view them as less than human. Even today in the UK, we are not immune to propaganda. The Gypsy Roma traveller community is often subject to negative stereotyping, notably in the media. So it has been with every case of genocide. Each one of us can be as a light in the darkness and endeavour to spread enlightenment as far as our influence extends. 
Stevenage Council is committed to spread this light as far as it can and each of you can assist to make this town shine as a light for the rest of our country. We are all inclined to make assumptions and cling to them because it is more comfortable to go on believing what we are accustomed to believe than it is to think afresh. And when we come against contrary evidence, we tend to dismiss it and say, I've made up my mind, don't confuse me with facts. The Charter of United Nations General Assembly is based upon the principles of dignity and equality of all human beings without distinction as to race, sex, language or religion. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights proclaims that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. It solemnly affirms the necessity of speedily eliminating racial discrimination throughout the world. Where there is ignorance and superstition, let there be enlightenment and knowledge. Where there is prejudice and hatred, let there be acceptance and love. Where there is fear and suspicion, let there be confidence and trust. Where there is tyranny and oppression, let there be freedom and justice. Where there is poverty and disease, let there be prosperity and health. Where there is strife and discord, let there be harmony and peace. I am Danny Rich, the rabbi to the Stevenage Liberal Jewish Synagogue. In a moment, I shall recite the Kaddish in its original language, Aramaic and Hebrew. The Kaddish, this doxology, this formulaic prayer in praise of God, appears to have been used first nearly 2,000 years ago as a concluding prayer following an academic lecture. But the version I shall share today has become most well known as a mourner's prayer, expressing the Jewish concept that one should praise God in sorrow as well as in joy. The term Holocaust refers particularly to the attempt to eradicate Jews and Judaism by the German Nazi regime in the middle of the 20th century. Nevertheless, in a world today where tyranny crouches at the door, this year's Holocaust Memorial Day theme, Be the Light in the Darkness, serves as a poignant reminder that each and every one of us has a role to play in learning from history and ensuring that the darkest acts of which humanity are possible never happen again. These acts of remembrance, education, and a genuine celebration of human difference may help us to bequeath a better world to those who come after us. The Kaddish Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah b'alma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei B'chayechon uv'yomechon, uv'chayeh d'chol b'yit Yisrael, b'agala uv'zman kariv, v'imaru, amen. Yehei shemei rabam avorach l'olam ul'almei almaya. Yit barach v'yishtabach, v'yit pa'a v'yit romam v'yit nasei, v'yit hada v'yit halev talal, shemei d'kodesha b'richu. לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, תוש בחתה ונחמתה, תאמירן בעלמה, ואמרו אמן. יהי שלם הרבה מן שמיה, וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל בני אדם. Imaru Amen.
Hello, I'm Terry Wolfe, the Secretary of Stevenage Liberal Synagogue. You've heard a lot today about the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust theme for 2021, Be the Light in Our Darkness. Of all the themes of recent years, this one particularly resonates with me. The Holocaust threatened the very fabric of civilization, and genocide must still be resisted every day. Our world often feels fragile and vulnerable, and we cannot be complacent. Even in the United Kingdom, prejudice and the language of hatred must be challenged by us all. Hate crime is awful, however and wherever it occurs. Holocaust Memorial Day can increase awareness and understanding of what constitutes a hate crime, as many people think that hate crime is just about race and religion or physical violence. There are, however, many types of offences which we do not recognise and even the victims do not recognise as crime. This includes online verbal abuse against people for their sexual orientation, transgender identity or disability. Holocaust Memorial Day is for everyone. Each year across the United Kingdom, thousands of people come together to learn more about the past and take action to create a, a safer future. We know they learn more, empathise more and do more. Together, we bear witness for those who endured genocide and hate crime of all kinds. And we honour the survivors and all those whose lives have been challenged beyond recognition. We can all become the light of enlightenment in the darkness of prejudice and hatred.